Welcome, everybody. It is I, Neon Jigglypuff here. Welcome to the Nostalgia series. Today, I'm going to be playing another game that's obviously part of my childhood, hence the name Nostalgia series, Wario World. Now, I don't know what these files are. I remember this file. This is actually the file I was playing before Mario Odyssey came out because I wanted to play some 3D platformers. This, I don't remember what this is. I don't know, should I go with this file? By the way, don't be confused, it says like, you know, 14 and 17 there. No, I've had this game way, way, way longer than that. It's just that it was on my original memory card, which I no longer have. This is actually a, a different memory card. We had two in the family, one's gone, but I still have this one because, because like, this had more games. But, this was a game I used to play a lot, but it actually got, sadly got stolen as a kid. So, uh, yeah, I never really had this game for a long time. As a kid, played it, got stolen. Uh, yeah, never really saw it much again until I, I got it as recent as, well, I guess 2014. Fun fact, I'm not the one who got this game. Orlando bought the new copy for me, so, you know, thank you, Orlando, for the video and this copy. Should I go new file or should I go... You know, I think I'll go new file. Yeah, new file. There we go. And just like that, we're jumping in the game. So this story, this game does have a story. I just skipped over it because, you know, this is not a Let's Play. It's just nostalgia series. It's not about that. It's about my childhood. So, there's an evil jewel that's locked in this chest. You need a bunch of keys to open it. They all fit here. You need eight keys from every world. And then you get the jewel out. But turns out, the jewel is actually a demon. It's not a jewel at all. And then you kill it, and then, yeah. That's it. It's a jewel. It's a, a jewel-shaped demon that cursed the entire land. It's locked away, and Wario wants it now. So, Wario's kind of a villain and a hero because he thinks it's a jewel, but it's actually a demon. So he's actually unknowingly unlocking a demon. And explains... And don't worry, it's not really a spoiler because it ex explains it in the actual story. Whoa! In the beginning cutscene. Um, what? Look at his face. Wario, you're beautiful. Anyway, let's get on with the controls. So the controls are, if you hold B, or no, what? If you hold B, or, okay, press B, you punch. Hold B, you do your dash attack as Wario always does. Or you can do the same thing with R. If you hold L, you can suck. Hello. Okay. Now, let's get on with the- What the hell? Okay, let's get on with the first level. Punch the door- Or we can't? Where's the first level? I wanna- Okay, it's over here. Yeah. Alright. So you have a heart system. This is a very unique 3D platformer. It's not like open world. It's not open world. It's actually Linny. Like, I wouldn't exactly say 3D world or galaxy. It's kind of like its own thing. I don't really have any other games to compare it to. But, uh, yeah, it's a Lenny 3D platformer. You punch things, you collect coins, and you beat bosses. I think there's one boss in every level. And this is actually a very, surprisingly, a very short game. I think there's only, no, there's, it's only 12 levels in the entire game. I believe there's only 12 levels in the whole game, plus a few boss battles. But actual levels, there's only about 12 of them, I'm, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, this is actually a pretty short game. Anyway, we have some new enemies. I don't know what the hell these things are, but let's punch them. Also, you can pick enemies up and throw them. You can also spin them around too, but I didn't get to, I didn't get to collect those coins either. Oops. Oh! What did I just do? I pressed the button and it did something. Well, anyway, let's not talk about this game, or you can't talk about the game, but let's talk about why is this nostalgic to me? Other than, you know, I played this a lot as a kid. Hold on, let's pick this up. Let's pick it up. Let's throw it. I can't throw it. Huh? I want. I want to throw things. Okay, you know what? Screw it. Get out of here. Anyway, so this is a very nostalgic game because here's what we would do. This was like a ooh a family game for us. Oh, you can transfer that to the Game Boy Advance for some reason. 
Uh, I don't have one anymore, but anyway, let's get- I want the story and why this installed it to me. Okay, so... I'm not gonna- Okay. No, I, I'm not gonna read any of this. So, why is Wario standing- What is- This is all automatic. I'm not doing this. Okay, our main collectible for the story. Yes, the, the, our main collectible is little things. Let's not talk about it. Anyway, let's get on with the story now. My story. Okay. As I was saying, the reason why this is so nostalgic to me is because my family. Growing up, we'd always have a bunch of family games that we'd all play together as a family. Multiplayer or single player, doesn't really matter. We'd always, you know, we would uh, get together and just watch one person play a game or we'd all play a game together. And one of these games was Wario World. And, yeah, as a family, we would always... Like, it was me, my cousin, my mom, and our family friend, or my my godbrother, Darnell, would always come together, and my aunt as well, would always come together, and we would play this game. My cousin, poor Darnell, would always play this, and I would always watch, because I was very, very young. I never actually played it until I was about... I don't know how old I was. I think I was about five or six when I played this game for the first time, but when it came out, I was pretty young. I think I was about four, so I couldn't actually play games on my own back then. I mean, I, I played games on my own back then, but, it, you know, not very well. I just played them. So, um, yeah, we actually got everything in this game 100%. Every single, like, woodland creature, every gold statue, every key, we beat this game 100%, and it was a great time. Or... But th there's one thing, there's one funny story about this. So, um, it, it took, a, as you can imagine, it took us a long time to 100% this game and find everything because there are just so many secrets in this game. Like, even more than, I would say, Sunshine. Well, it's more tedious, but this is not tedious. It's just hard to find. There's so much stuff in this game. Despite it only being a few levels long. But, uh... Yeah, my cousin eventually found everything, every gold statue, everything there is to be found in this game, she found eventually. But, and she was about to save, but she took a bathroom break, right? Or something, I, I don't know what she did, she took a break, and then little four, like three, four, five year old me, you wanna know what I did? Mind you, she didn't save. She, she did a lot before saving. Like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. I don't even know how I don't know how I did it, but little little me, I wanted to switch seats. I was sitting on one side of the living room, and I wanted to go to the other for what whatever reason, right? So I tried to step over the GameCube. I did, but I somehow misstepped, and I ended up stepping on the GameCube. But something bad happened. Cause you want to know what happened? Of all the spots to land on, or to step on, I stepped on the power button, just turning the GameCube off before my cousin even got to save everything she did. My mom, I forgot what her exact <laughs> words were, but it was something along the lines of, you're dead. Literally. I'm not, I don't know if that's exactly what she said, but it was something like that, like, you're dead, or, or you're gonna get it, or she's gonna kill you, or like, look what you did. Uh, <laughs> I was really unfazed because I didn't realize the impact of what I just did. Like, all the hard work is gone. So, my cousin comes back, and, uh, she sees... <laughs> no, my, my mom, I think she turned the GameCube on, or back on, to, to see how much, uh, how much uh, progress was actually lost in this game. Mind you, okay, so if I pause, you see how you see Wario's head there, right? Every page... I believe it was all full, like, it was a full statue of Wario, everything was collected, right? Up to, like, all eight of them. Everything was collected. Every item, every treasure, every gold piece, every little thing was collected. But when I turned the power off, we lost about, I would say maybe about a third of our progress, because we played that game non-stop, so we lost about a third of everything that we collected. And I don't re really remember what happened past that. Um, all I remember was... I don't remember if I got yelled at or not. Like, I, I'm pretty sure people got mad... What the heck? I'm pretty sure people got mad at me for that. Oh, if you punch this guy, you pay him 20 coins for extra health. But I didn't need that, but I did anyway. These are special levels. I remember these a lot. These are the ones that are most nostalgic to me. What? 
these are not the right ones. Okay, I, I was expecting the sky ones, but I guess not. So anyway, yeah, I lost a good chunk of our progress, or her progress, and uh, they all got mad at me. I assume. But we ended up beating it again, I think. Pause. Actually, you know what? I don't even think we ever did it. I think she gave up after that. I think I just ruined her spirit after that, because we never... I believe we attempted to again, but that's when it got stolen, so we never got to. Because a lot of my GameCube games actually got stolen as a kid. A lot of them did. I, don't, I actually... To this day, I haven't got a lot of them back. Like, Wario World was stolen. Mario Party 5, I believe, was stolen. Mario Kart uh, Double Dash was stolen. Never got that back. 5, I got back. Luigi's Mansion was stolen. So yeah, I ended up... Eventually, I got this back, Mario Party 5 back, and I ended up getting Luigi's Mansion back. Not the exact same copy, I just got another copy. But as for Mario Kart Double Dash, and um... What, what, I, there was something else I didn't get back either, I'm not sure, but there's something... No, I think it's only Double Dash. That's the only one I, I never got back to this day. Never got it back. And uh, yeah, it sucks. Really, really did suck. As a kid, I was pretty sad because, you know, those are my games, and they got stolen, and I was pretty young, too, so, you know, it, it was kind of sad, like, it was, I mean, it's kind of a scumbag thing to do, like, stealing from a kid. I was really, like, I was in kindergarten back then, and somebody, I'm not gonna name any names, I'm not, I'm not even gonna say anything because, yeah, but still, just to let you know that there is someone out there who is willing to steal games from a little child, and they did, and they sold them, but... And I'm still pretty annoyed by that, too. I mean, like, if it happened to me, like, if I had a kid and it happened to them, I'd be... I'd be furious. But anyway, let's not talk about that. It's, probably, it's time for happy memories, not sad, heartbreaking kid memories. No, it's time for happy memories. One of the funny memories was, yeah, I deleted... I unintentionally deleted a bunch of data. Or I lost a bunch of progress. And I... I pretty much ruined this game for everyone in my family. So, yeah, it's... That's why it's so nostalgic to me. My family probably still hates me for that, but it's fine, you know. At least I can play this game. I'm never gonna 100% this though. Also, I'm not sure this is true or not, but I remember there was like a rumor. I don't know, I think it was only in my family that, that believed this, but there was a rumor that, oh God. There was a rumor in this game that if you get everything in this game, 100, um, uh, percentus, right? Percentus? 100% this game, right? If you get everything? There was a rumor, I don't know who started this, I don't know how we ever, like, like, we found this, or how we, uh, like, I don't, I don't know how it got in our heads, but apparently you can find both Mario and Luigi in this game as an easter egg if you beat everything. It's kind of like Luigi in Mario 64, right? It's like, I don't think you'd ever play as them, but they were just there. So we were like, oh, we gotta beat this game 100% so we can, like, we can see Mario and Luigi. I don't know if that's true or not. Like, I haven't checked online if, like, to see if it's actually true, but I don't think it is. Like, I'm being honest, I really don't think that's true, and I think it's just something we believed all those years ago, but it was never true. I don't know how we ever got that in our heads, but it, it, it was a thing that we believed for a while, and I don't know why. But yeah, if it's true, then wow, that's cool. If it's not true, then, I mean, I, today I don't think it's true, but if it actually is, if it was true the entire time, then that's actually pretty interesting. Just, you know, the whole time it's been a secret that we were talking about, and it's true the whole time, that'd be pretty cool. Highly doubt that's true, though. Um, anyway, yeah, this is a pretty long level. I just realized we're not even done the first level yet, and it's been like, what, about 10 minutes? Oh! There it goes. I'm not gonna bother. I, I, I want to skim through the game because I want to show everything I possibly can within a short time frame. Uh, let's collect some stuff up here. There's a treasure chest up here. Coins? Yes, love coins. Oh, you! You, ma, that booper! I'm, I'm, I just censored myself with my own voice. Okay. Uh, well, we can do a secret again. Uh, ooh, sticky orbs. Remember this. We, it's just sticky. Hey, no, get on the sticky. Look at this. He's like a cleaner. He's a ball cleaner. What? Okay, you know what? I don't want to do that again. So, he's a ball cleaner. That's what Wario is now. Yeah. He went from macho man to absolute madman to ball cleaner. 
That's what Wario is now. He's a ball cleaner. And ground pound this thing. Pause? Kind of pause. There's another thing in here. Let's ground pound it. He's dead. You found us. Thank you so much, Wario. Oh, it's an Aerodactyl. Or a Pterodactyl, I mean. Not Aerodactyl. We're not, we're not playing Pokemon right now. Oh, oh. Why am I actually killing these things? I can just skip over them. Get out of here. Have a rotten day. There's one more secret over there. Should I do it? Should I attempt at this? I will. So yeah, that's the story on how I ruined my... I, I, I ruined this game for my whole family. I deleted everything because I stepped on a GameCube. Let that be known. I, Neon Jigglypuff, when I was small, deleted everything. Not everything, but I deleted a good chunk of data by stepping on a GameCube by accident. And... Honestly, if I could go back in time... Ooh! Oh my god, okay, this is... It's actually a good thing I did this. Okay, so this is one of the things of this game that actually used to terrify me as a kid, okay? These ghost things, th this whole level used to terrify me. Because I never played this right, but every time we'd fall into a pit and find this... Ah! I, would, I would always cover my eyes because I was too scared to look at those ghost rhino thing. They scared the hell out of me. And I was just like, you know, I was afraid of falling. Like, oh, if I fall, I'm gonna find those ghost things. I think I had nightmares about them too. Huh. Okay, this is actually a mini boss, I believe. I think. Mini boss? No, it's the exit to the left. Oh, you need... R really? You need everything to, uh, to get a thing? Is that... What? Oh, wait a minute. You know what? No, I'm gonna do that. I think I don't think it's the exit. I think it's actually an optional boss that gives you something special. Yes, it is. It's a boss. Okay, you know what? Boss. What the hell is this? I don't know what this is. <gasps> ah. Okay, I don't know what this is. I think you have to throw him? Oh, well, that did something. Wait, is he dead? Uh, okay, he's... Never mind, he's not dead. Okay, so it's kind of like Bowser from Mario 64 then. Oh! Hey, goodbye. Ew, okay, what's... I, okay, you know what? You know what he looks like? He looks like a Goomba from the Super Mario Bros. movie. Like, like... <laughs> he looks like a Goomba in the live-action Mario movie. Doesn't he kind of like a Goomba? He is. Guys, that's a Goomba. Look at his face, he's literally a... Was that a Ghastly? Why did a Ghastly just pop out of him when he died? <laughs> and all of my punches get turned into coins. And I don't believe that's the end of the level because... I still have to do stuff! Wait, what? Wait, that's the end? Whoa. Okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's the end of the level. Okay, that was fun. Okay, so how do I actually initiate a spin? I forgot how to... Okay, I don't know how to spin. Um... Am I screwed? Yeah, I am. I'm screwed. Well, I think I'm gonna end the episode off here then, since I'm absolutely screwed and I can't do anything about this level now. That's... I think I can, but you know what? Yeah. That's pretty much it for the Nostalgia Series episode. I know it was a very short one compared to the, um, the, the previous one, which I believe was Mario Party Advance. But the reason why it was so long is because I had so much to say about the game. This one, not a lot. It's just nostalgic because, well, it's a game I played as a kid. And I had a funny story and I felt like sharing it with you guys. So, uh, yeah, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the, this very short episode, short but sweet, episode of Wario, I almost said Mario World. Wario World. And I hope you guys enjoyed hearing about that story about me stepping on a GameCube. That's very funny. In fact, I still have that same GameCube right here. Wait a minute, no I don't. That was the black GameCube. I'm using the purple one right now. Still, we've had a lot of GameCubes in our family. 
and 64. So I currently own three 64s, a GameCube one, a black one, and a Pikachu one. And I own three GameCubes, blue, black, and platinum. Yeah, and I own two Wii U's too. I own a white and a black one. I own a lot of home consoles. A lot of the same consoles. I don't know why. But I do for some reason. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That, with that all said, I hope you guys have a, have a great day. Uh, have a great day. And I'll see you in the next episode of the Nostalgia Series. Which is going to be... I don't know yet, but I have plans. <laughs> so, yeah. See you guys in the next episode. Or video. Something. See ya. <laughs>